Well, I mentioned at the top of the show that the nuclear debate is, of course, one we're going to be having right up until the next election. And as much as Labor bashes the coalition plan, it's clear that voters aren't buying it because you've got 60% of Australians support nuclear as part of the country's energy mix, according to a poll by the Lowy Institute out today. Let's see what my panel thinks of this. Joining me now is former Labor Senator Stephen Conroy and One Nation Chief of Staff James Ashby. Gentlemen, welcome. Stephen, six in ten Aussies support uh, nuclear energy, according to this poll. Why is Labor continuing with the scare campaign? <laughs> well, look, I think there's been three or four polls which have all shown some degree of support for the proposition, not necessarily the coalition's proposition, just the proposition of nuclear power being included. But, I mean, uh, the most definitive poll so far has shown that people overwhelmingly support renewables in terms of wind and solar. So I think we need to keep that in perspective. And the nuclear rate's much lower down that ranking than, than the broad number that... Uh, you just tried to suggest. Uh, having said that, Labor needs to be very careful. It, it can't just assume that everybody assume, uh, you know, takes the view that might have been prevalent 20 years ago, which was you know, nuclear uh, disasters around the world were well remembered uh, and there's great risks with living near them and all those sorts of arguments. I think Labor has to prosecute the case against the Dutton plan. And the problem is there's not much to oppose at the moment because there's no costing, there's no uh, technology being picked, there's no confirmed sites and there's no uh, percentage of power that is going to be included in the grid. I mean, the calculations so far have been the seven sites might produce as little as 4%. Well, what's the other 96%? if only 4% is coming from the nuclear option. So people are prepared to give it a look because people are feeling desperate. They want to see uh, the cost of living, particularly energy prices coming down. The problem is that Peter Dutton's plan doesn't deliver any energy uh, price decrease. It's still 2040 when the first nuclear power comes online. So there's plenty of substance to attack them on because of the lack of substance that you're seeing from Peter Dutton and the Liberals so far. Well, as for the other 96-odd um, percent, I mean, we've got things like gas and whatever that we export readily that we could probably use here. And we saw a story today I talked about earlier, you know, <laughs> Victoria is essentially running out of gas. I mean, how in a country like Australia do you run out of gas? But James Bowen said today, and I played the clip earlier, that he's ready to talk about this every day until the next election. I, I feel like they're kind of buying into the game that the coalition set up for them here. Well, as long as it's a mature conversation, you don't mind Bowen opening his mouth and having that uh, discussion about nuclear. Look, at the end of the <laughs> day, uh, more the targets are being set for, for... Yeah, well, that's true. But uh, the, the reality is that Australians are looking for a mature conversation. It's proof that we've matured as a country. We can have these debates. Uh, but by all means, we should have never, ever, ever blocked the ability for Australia to have nuclear in the first place. And sadly... That was a decision of Howard with the support of the Greens at that time. But, look, I've, I've got extended family that live in Biloela, one, one of the sites where the Calide Power Station is. I spoke to them just a week ago when this announcement was made and I said, how do you feel about it? And they just put, uh, simply, simply said, look, as long as we don't lose jobs in the area, we're very happy to see nuclear. And they're five kilometres away from that site. So... It's pretty obvious that people are open to the idea of nuclear. It's about time if we're to keep manufacturing in this country, we've got to have cheap energy. It will not come from solar. It won't come from wind. And uh, hydrogen, if you're worried about volatile uh, fuels out there, hydrogen is one of the most volatile, and yet we're looking to put a, a massive big plant down there in Gladstone. So, look, I'm glad people are open to this discussion about nuclear.